Yo bros, what the hell is going on? This is CSS for Beginners, Lesson 32, and today we're going to talk about text colour. That's coming up. <laughs> okay, now before we start, uh, I just want to go over this. There's two types of colour property in CSS, okay? We've got the first type, which is the text slash foreground colour, and we've got another type, which controls the background colour of elements. Now, you mustn't confuse these because they're totally different things, okay? And by the way, if there's any Americans out there thinking, yo, this dude spelled colour wrong, what a dick. Well, actually, guys, it's just because I'm English, I'm sorry. Uh, but in the CSS property, it is spelled the American way without the U. So now we know the difference between those two properties. I'm going to jump into the code and show you. All right, then let's get started with some color properties. So we're going to target a few different elements here on this index page. And the first one we're going to start with is this H1 here. All right, so it's within the header. So let's just type header H1. That's going to grab that H1 tag for us. And to specify a foreground color, we simply write color. Okay, and by foreground color, I mean the actual content, everything between the tags. So in this case, the text. And to be honest, Pretty much all the time it's going to be text this color property here controls text color so when we do this by the way brackets comes up with a huge list of keyword colors so we can choose from any one of those chocolate i like that let's go with that although it does look a little bit too light for chocolate if any of you guys have ever tasted caramac it looked a bit like that anyway besides the point uh we can use keywords here to control color. If we're not happy with this, those keywords, there's other ways, but let's just have a look at this in the browser first of all. We'll get this open in Chrome. All right, there we go. So there's that chocolate color, a bit orange to be honest. It looks like weird chocolate if you ask me, but there we go. It's changed the text color, okay? Now, there are other options if we don't like that. Let's go after the H2 within the header and give this a color property also. And yeah, there's loads of colors here, but say that's not quite what we want. We want to be more specific. Say some designer is really picky over the colors, okay? And he's designed this PSD, this Photoshop file for you, handed it over to you, and he says, look, get the colors spot on. Well, you can go into Photoshop, and if you've used Photoshop before, you're probably familiar with hex codes. And the way we do this is just put a little pound symbol here or a hash sign, whatever you want to call it. And then we just put six characters. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. Um, I'm just going to make any old hex code up. It's in a nice blue color there. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a couple of videos later on in the course explaining loads of different ways to do color because there are various ways of doing it. We can uh, do it in RGB format or HSL format. And again, if you're familiar with Photoshop, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, don't worry about it. We're going to do a couple of videos later on in the course about it. For now, I just want to show you how to apply colors to uh, text and the difference between the foreground and the background color. So either way, we can do a color like that. And let's save it and view it in a browser again. Open with Chrome. Yeah, and don't those colors look nice together? Okay, so that's how we control the, uh, the foreground color. Now the difference between that and the background color is this. Say we wanna give this header, the whole section of the header a background color. And I've done this earlier in the course, but told you to ignore it. So you're probably gonna be familiar with this, but it's just simply background color, okay? And again, we get all those options. Let's give it an aqua white color, why not? And, oh, antique white rather, and view this in a browser. Open with Chrome. All right, so now you can see the whole head of background is this weird kind of orangey yellow color, this pale yellow, and then that differs from these which control the font color. All right, so that's the difference, guys. And this, by the way, you can also write background as like a short way of doing it, and you can give it a color, you could do it the same way. Let's just copy and paste that. Get rid of this. And that's gonna do exactly the same thing. The only difference is with this background thing here, you can pass multiple things, not just a, um, a color, but also like a background image. And I'll just quickly show you that. You could put URL and then put your URL of a background image in there. And you can do various other things with it. But either way, that controls the background color. So that's the difference, guys. 
Uh, pretty simple, and this is again a pretty short video, but if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to throw a comment down below and I'll answer those as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please guys, subscribe, share these videos, or just like them. And I'll see you guys in the next one.